the chicks have gotten so big and um, out of the whole bunch of olive acres that we hatch, um, there only seems to be one roo that's um, pretty much identified himself so far. And um, we lost two due to um, Justine accidentally sat on them. And uh, I think she panicked because the water tipped over and she was trying to get everybody out of the way. So early on we lost two, which was such a big disappointment and sadness. But um, let me see if I could show you the six that remain. And um, that little one right there close to the concrete is, um, I'm pretty sure is our roo. He's got the um, auto sexing of a cream leg bar on top of his head, that yellow marking on top there. And um, much like our cream leg bars, he is, uh, he's looking pretty ruish. And then everyone else, it's gonna be hard to tell, um, but uh, there's no um, dominant comb present at all. And we'll have to wait and see um, just to make sure nobody else is. But that little guy right there, that is definitely a roo. And then um, beautiful slate gray little one right there. And there he is. He was the one swinging from her waddles like Tarzan, so I've named him Tarzan. Um, whoops. <laughs> so they're out today and um, just enjoying their afternoon. It's a little cloudy, but that's them. And I wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see them, but all of them are feather footed and um, the rain's coming. Might have to move them in. Uh, they all have feathered feet, um, small combs except for that one little one. Uh, and again, auto sexing marks like a cream leg bar um, on the top. All the males have little yellows on top of their heads and his uh, comb has already came out. So I'm assuming that we're going to keep the name Tarzan and he's going to be our little Roo for all of Eggers. There they are. And if she stays a little pullet, she's going to be Jane. That's it.